Hi friends, welcome to my channel How to Teach Kids at Home. This is math series for primary grade 4, CBSE and ICSE board. Today I am starting with topic number 27, word problems on time. So in this video we will see the questions how to find the lapse time and the problems on the time interval. So let's begin the video. But before starting to this video, watch my previous video on the topics what is time, how to read clock, unit of measurement of time, what is quarter, format of time, 12 hour system, 24 hour system, conversion of 12 hours to 24 hours, conversion of times, hours into minute, minute into hours, minute into second, second into minute, hours into second and second into hours and the last topic addition and subtraction of time. So do watch my previous two videos on time to get the detailed knowledge of the units of measurement of time and the conversions and also the addition and subtraction of time. Now let's begin the today's video. Today, today's video is all about the word problem, word problems on time. So in exams three types of questions are asked on time. First question is asked on the time interval in which the given the given information will be the start time and the end time. So in some questions the start time is mentioned and the end time is mentioned and we need to find the duration. Duration or the time interval that how long the uh, the movie lasts or how long the the meeting held something like that. So for that to find the time duration we need to subtract. We need to subtract. We need to do subtraction end time minus the start time. Now some types of question states in which start time is given and the duration is given and we need to find the end time. So if the start time is given and the duration is also given and we need to find the end time so we need to do the addition. So add the duration to the start time to get the end time. And the third type of question asked on time is the lapse time in which the duration is mentioned and the end time is mentioned but they will ask the start time. So to get the start time if this is the end time and this was the duration and we need to get the start time. So to get the start time we need to go backward and for backward we need to subtract. But to get the To get the start, uh, to get the end time from the start time, we will move forward. So we need to add here. But to get the uh, lapse time or get the start time, we need to go backward. So for that case, we need to subtract here. Subtract the uh, duration from the end time to get the start time. So this is, these are the three varieties of question asked. I hope the concept is clear to you. Now you will not get confused how to solve the problems on time. So let's see some examples on that. Question 1. A TV show started at 8.15 pm. So here the start time is mentioned and finished at 9.45 pm. End time is also mentioned. What is the time duration of the show? So here they were asking the time interval, time duration. So to find the duration, what we will do? End time minus the start time here. So what is the end time? 9.45. This is hour and this is minute. 9.45 minus 8.15. So five, and we will start from the left hand side. So 5 minus 5 is 0, 4 minus 1 is 3, 9 minus 1, 8 is 1. So the duration of the show was 1 hour 30 minutes. 1 hour 30 minutes. So this is how we can find the duration when the start time is given and the uh, when the start time is mentioned and the end time is mentioned and we need to find the duration so what we will do subtract the start time from the end time to get the time interval now let's see another type of question jill and guinea went to went for shopping which lasts for 3 hours 50 minutes so here duration is given and they started shopping at 1 5 pm and this is the start time what time did they finish finish the shopping 
so end time we need to find so when the start time is mentioned and we need to and the duration is mentioned and we need to find the end time we are going forward so we need to add so add the start time and the duration to get the end time so what's the start time here 1 5 this is hours and this is minute 1 5 as a starting time and the shopping goes for 3 hours 50 minutes add them so 5 plus 0 5 and here also 5 and this is 4 so wh what time did they finish the shopping it is 4 55 pm and they started at 1 5 pm and they end ended shopping at 4 55 pm so this is how we can find the end time now let's see one more type of question sam stopped playing badminton at 6 30 pm so this is the end time he stopped playing badminton he played badminton for 2 hours 15 minutes so this is the duration given here when did he started playing badminton so the start time we need to find here so start time is not mentioned but the duration is mentioned here and the end time so when the end time is mentioned and the duration is mentioned to find the starting time we need to go backward so what we will do we will subtract we will subtract duration from the end time so end time minus duration will be the starting time so let's do it so the end time is 6 30 pm this is hours and this is minute and the duration is 2 hours 15 minutes do the subtraction here 0 minus 5 not possible we'll take borrow here so it will become 10 and it will be 2 10 minus 5 is 5 2 minus 1 is 1 now 6 minus 2 is 4 so the starting time was 4 15 pm so Sam started playing badminton at 4 15 pm so so these are the types of word question word problems asked on time first where the we need to find the time interval second we need to find the end time and third is the lapse time when we need to find the starting time so I hope the word problems on time are clear to you if you like my video subscribe to my channel how to teach kids at home. Thanks for watching.